guys, this is Person Man, and today I will be showing you how to make a proximity audio visualization. Now, proximity audio visualization is based on a few different spectrums and uh, based on different heights and stuff like that. Um, and it's mostly bass oriented, so you won't see any of the higher frequencies on it. Okay, so let's get started. Um, start by making a black solid and um, naming it audio. Alright, now go over to um, your effects and type in spectrum. Let's put that on there. Now you already see your spectrum coming on here. Now you want to go to polar, so you get polar coordinates, and you drag it onto here. You go to react to polar and type in 100. And now you see your circle going up already. So what you want to do go to start point make that 12 end point well not end point but the second start point 720 the end point make that 2 100 and the second one make that also 720 now you see you got a nice circle but this is different from just um, the original which is just um, getting a map and um, mask and just mapping that to the mask so I'll tell you that um, about why later alright you're gonna wanna make that frequency bands a thousand there you go you already have a nice looking audio spectrum going on here and not too shabby you know got this little gap right here but if you look closely at the um, proximity so then you see that they have a gap there too okay so you're gonna wanna um, this is a um, the base one. So we're going to want to make this one white. Both layers. And let's start messing around with the settings. Okay. So you want to go to start frequency. Make that zero. End frequency. Make that about uh, 250. Um, want to make the maximum height 300. Audio duration 150. Um, audio offset, don't mess with that. Thickness, it's good enough. Let's, um, let's make the softness, see how that looks off. Uh, I'll, I'll put that all the way up. Yeah, that, that, looks, that looks better. Yeah, okay. Um, and that's... Oh, you want to make this side B as well. Well, let's um, get a song and see how this is uh, coming along. I'm just gonna go over here to my music. Don't mind that. Um, let's find a nice song. No, that that's not that's not um, that's copyrighted. All right. Um, let's find a nice Tobu song. So in here, um, yeah, Cloud Nine. That's a nice song. Tobu is like amazing. I've already said that in a few videos. He is amazing. All right, you know this is this is looking a bit um how to put it too thin. Let's let's up that up to about um, 350. 3.50, yeah. Not slash point. Okay, that's that's better. Yeah, it's a bit got a bit thicker going. Okay, so what we're gonna want to do is click on this down here. Actually, let's put our let's put our song here in first. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. All right, let's bind the audio to the song. And oh, well, shame on me. I forgot the most important thing. You want to make want to make this all analog dots. All right, there you go. You see how it's already moving a bit. Okay, so this is where the magic comes in. You go to audio, click on it, do Control D three times. So you've got three duplicates of your audio now. So you don't want to change anything in here except for the colors for now. So let's make this a nice uh, yellowish. Yeah, it's a nice yellow. Mm -hmm. And then let's make this one a nice blue. Just like proximities. And the last one, a nice pinkish red. Like that kind of color, yeah. That's good. Alright, so 
Now you see how this is um, the audio duration is 150 right now. You want to change this for the second for the yellow to 130. Change the blue 120 and change the red 110. Now then, if you look closely, you see how all the layers are now um, how would I put it off each other, I guess? They're already coming out. Well, if it's uh, the audio is moving. You really want to play around with most of these settings, so um, let's find a good place where the where there's a kick drum. Um, is that right there? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, you know, I, I want to make this. Uh, you know what? Let's make this one um, 140, 130, and then make this. Yeah, 110. Thought that seemed not. You know, let's make it. Let's make it 120. All right, there we go. So you see how everything is uh coming off each other now. Got a nice, nice spectrum going on. Let me just uh, render that for you, just for a little bit. So I'm um, just gonna show you how it looks. Just a few seconds of it. <laughs> Now you see, if you've ever seen the proximity template, it, it looks something like that. But you see, I'm not satisfied with how that looks right now. So I'm going to change the maximum height to 350. Just so it, um, you know, is bigger, better, that sort of stuff. You know, so it just stands out a bit more. There we go. So the kicks are bigger. The bases are bigger. Oh, did I forget the yellow? Oh, I put that at 35. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so it'll be a bit bigger. Now. So what does this look like on a, um, on a, you know, transparency grid? Well, I can't show you that because this is in the way. Just delete this black solid right here. It's the background. Come on, delete. Alright, thank you. Um, now you click right here. Oh, I just deleted my audio. Alright. Well, let me put that back, obviously. Okay. So you click this um, transparency grid here, and you see that the transparency grid comes on, and you can't see anything. That's just part of it. Okay. You know what? I think that I, um, I don't like the thickness of that. I want to go up to four. Just a four. Let's see how that looks. This is all about just messing around with it. I can never get it down perfectly. It also um, really depends on what song you're using. Okay, so you go into a project. You make a new composition. Fill load, okay. Name this one Final. I'm just making it. Don't worry. Okay. So, yeah, let's work on that final. And you'd want to get um, something proximity related. A picture of a, you know, a background. Perhaps proximity related. Um, proximity, if you go on any of their videos, um, they'll give you a download for all their backgrounds. So, that's pretty nice. I just uh, ended up going on Google Images and seeing what I could find. All right, I got the picture. This uh, picture right here is a uh, background from one of the proximity videos. It's gonna drag that into this uh, new composition. It may be a bit small, but just shift and uh, click and drag it. Click and drag it. After Effects is being really irritating today. Yeah, there we go, just so it fits. There we go, you got a nice background now. So you take this um, comp one that's a proximity on it. And you place that well over. You don't want to put that under. And you should see already that you have a little circle right here. All right. So you'd want to stretch this out a bit to make it fit nicely around the original. Does this look good? Yeah, I think it looks good. All right. 
so uh, the last thing that I haven't gone over is um, well proximity has a little spin well you know a little spin so if you want to just go into here um, type in uh, right here make a keyframe for the rotation um, and let's go to let's go to 10 minutes and make that uh, one revolution per minute let's make that seven yeah that, that sounds good so it'll start spinning um, now it'll be spinning see yeah and it's simple enough but no, I'm not yet completely satisfied with the way this all looks now this is um of course proximity so it should be exactly like it but it really is just your preference of how you like things to look um, you just play around with the settings uh, mostly the way that all of these um, layers go together you can change the frequencies um, I changed mine to 200 you change the maximum height um, so you can have a bigger effect and the audio duration is the biggest thing Audio duration, if you, when you change that, it makes everything um, fit together nicely. So, you know, one layer goes, then another, then another, then another, and it gives this nice wave effect to it. So that's uh, one thing. Um, and, of course, well, you can change the colors up and stuff. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. And like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.